Hello! Welcome to Day 9, Chapter 9 of the My Immortal Quarantine Reading. I have just downed two cups of coffee back to back, so I'm extra excited to announce my very special guest today, also because I happen to be a big fan of his. He is the co-producer of the Tin Foot Rat Cabaret, a monthly show that's been happening since 2013, as well as the Electric Stage Open Mic, which happens every Monday, or will continue to happen every Monday once we are able to go see shows again. So definitely check both of those out. He is a wonderful talent and a very good friend, and I really appreciate him doing this. Give it up for Gregory Levine, bringing you chapter nine of My Immortal. Good evening, I'm Gregory Levine, and I'll be reading from the fan fiction, My Immortal, chapter nine. Author's note. Stop flaming, okay? I didn't read all the books with an X. This is from the movie, okay? So it's... Uh, not my fault if Dumbledore swears. But Swedes, I seed he had a headache. And the resin Snap doesn't like Snape. I bet that says Snape. The reason Snape doesn't like Harry now is cause he's Christian and Vampire is Satanist. MCR rocks with an X. We begin. I was so mad and sad. I couldn't believe Draco for cheating on me. I began to cry against the tree where I did it with Draco. Then all of a sudden, I'm sorry, it uh, scoots down a little bit. It's a work in progress, clearly. Then all of a sudden, an horrible man with red eyes and no nose and everything started flying toward me on a broomstick. He didn't have a nose, open parens, basically like Voldemort in the movie, close parens, and he was wearing all black, but it was obvious he wasn't gothic. It was... dot 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 dot... Voldemort! No! I shouted in a scared voice, but then Voldemort also shouted, Imperious! And I couldn't run away. Crookshanks, I shouted at him. Voldemort fell of his broom and started to scream. I felt bad for him even though I'm a sadist, so I stopped. Ebony, he yelled, thou must kill Vampire Potter. I thought about Vampire and his sexa eyes and his gothic black hair and how his face looks just like Joel Madden. I remembered that Draco had said I didn't understand, so I thought, what if Draco went out with Vampire, uppercase V, before I went out with him, and they broke up. No, Voldemort, I shouted back. Voldemort gave me a gun. No, please, I begged. Thou must, he yelled. If thou does not, then I shall kill thy beloved Draco. How did you know? I asked, in a surprised way. Voldemort got a, dude, you're so retarded, her word not mine, look on his face. I hath telekinesis, he answered cruelly, and if you doth not, God, if you doth not kill vampire, uppercase V, then thou know what will happen to Draco, he shouted. Then he flew away angrily on his broomstick. I was so scared and mad I didn't know what to do. Suddenly, Draco came into the woods. Draco, I said, hi. Hi, he said back, but his face was all sad. He was wearing white foundation and messy eyeliner, kind of like a pentagram. Get it? In parentheses. Between Joel Madden and Gerard Way. Are you okay? I asked. No, he answered. I'm sorry I got all mad at you, but I thought you cheated on me, I expelled. That's okay, he said, all depressed, and we went back into Hogwarts together, making out. End of chapter 9. Thank you. Thank you, Gregory. Thank you so much. And thank you to the mysterious woman drinking wine in the background. I really appreciate it. And to anybody watching, 
Please check out Gregory's shows, the Ten Foot Rat Cabaret, and the Electric Stage Open Mic once we are all able to go see shows again. And please, please let my immortal be an inspiration to you. Don't let being good hold you back. Make some bad art. Make bad art.